I just finished building the Lego Avatar Payakin the Tolkien and Crapsuit set. This is what I like, and this is what I don't like about this set. I like the huge Payakin that we get in this set, which is the whale-like creature called the Tolkien that we see in the Avatar movie. I like the size of the Payakin, which measures in at 39 centimeters long. I like the dark blue and white color scheme of the Payakin, as well as the dark red color on the fins of his head. I like the Payakin's massive head, which is made up of three huge new molded pieces. I like how you can open up the sides and the bottom of the Payakin's jaw. And I like how you can see a big hollow space on the inside of the model, which allows the Payakin to swallow several minifigures. I like how you can raise the Payakin's tail up or down, and I like how you can raise and lower its wings. I also like the two long appendages that extend from the front fins towards the back of the body. I like how the Payakin has several connection points on the top of his body and on his fins which allow you to attach minifigures to it. I also like how the Payakin also comes with its own coral reef which doubles as a display stand. I like the crab suit build which is a four-legged RDA underwater vehicle. I like how it's very compact and it has nice details. I like the snot building techniques that they used on the top of the crab suit. And I like the sand green military color scheme that they used for this vehicle. I like the play feature of the crab suit which include two stud shooters on the sides of the crab suit. I like how the crab suit has four legs on the bottom and two arms so it actually looks like a crab. And I like how you can actually pick up an avatar minifigure upside down by holding onto its hairpiece. I like how you can easily fit a minifigure inside the cockpit of the crab suit when the cockpit canopy hinges open. I like how the back of the crab suit has a propeller. And I like how you can turn the crab suit into a submarine by retracting the four legs and the two arms. It's cool how you can attach the submarine to the coral reef display stand. I like the underwater reef mini build that we get because it includes a variety of colorful plants. However, this build does look odd when the Technic piece is sticking out of it when the crab suit is not attached. I like the fact that there are no stickers in this set. All the designs are printed on the molded pieces of the Payakin. I like the building experience of this set. There weren't any repetitive builds and it was quite fun to create this huge avatar whale. I like the three minifigures that we get in this set. I like the Loak minifigure who is Jake Sully's youngest son. He has a nice printed blue face with yellow eyes and the cool looking black hair piece. His torso printing and back torso printing look great as well as his leg printing. And he comes with a blue tail. I like the Sireya minifigure who comes with a lighter blue skin tone since she's from the Metkeyina clan. She has a great looking printed blue face with green eyes and a very cool looking torso and back torso printing which is quite detailed. I like her leg printing and she also comes with a blue tail. I like the RDA crab suit driver who also looks like a G.I. Joe character. He has great torso and back torso printing as well as very cool leg printing which has a sand green digital camouflage pattern. So what do you like? What do you don't like? Comment below, let me know and we will see you all in the next video. Bye!